definitely the basketball capital of the world, but we found a Hoosier town with quite the reputation in small town hoops and a coach with the record to match. Up next, independent producer Chris Fry introduces us to Lagodi High School's Jack Butcher, the basketball coach of the Lagodi Lions, who holds the record for most wins and most years coaching in the entire state of Indiana. Jack Butcher claimed the record for most high school basketball wins in December of 1999. He did this after coaching for more than 40 years at Lagodi High School. He holds this record in America's basketball state. And given America's dominance in the game of basketball, this record is no small feat. Well, I think you can attribute uh, the longevity of my coaching career to the fact that uh, I was born uh, here in Lagodi, that as I was walking down uh, uh, the graduation ceremony in this gymnasium, uh, I developed the, the dream of or the ambition or the goal of, uh, of being a basketball coach. I just developed this, this desire or this dream, if you will, of someday returning to Lagodi and, and uh, coaching uh, the team to, to a sectional championship or a regional championship. And uh, we met with some success the first few years that I was here. The community got behind our program and as we began to be successful in tournament, we, gave, we generated more and more support and developed what we like to call the, the Lagodi basketball family. And we include in that uh, the players, of course, the former players, the fans, uh, uh, the parents of the players, uh, uh, the administration, and the school board. You see, in a town like Lagodi, there are no casual supporters of the team. I was born in 53, and I think Mr. Butcher started coaching in 58, so at age five or six, uh, I was exposed to Mr. Butcher's basketball, and probably in, in that length of time, if he's up to this date, if he's coached a thousand games, I've probably seen over 900 of them, I would think. Uh, so his influence has been, you know, tremendous. Um, I, I played for him in the 70s. I wanted my sons to stay and become Lagodi Lions if that was possible. I have three sons. Luckily, they all end up playing ball. Basketball consumes us from November 1st till after the state tournament. Um, my husband takes the stats, and I'm just a major fan. What basketball means to Lagodi, uh, obviously, it, it's our heritage. It's, it's what's made, made Lagodi. Um, you know, anywhere you go, we, we talk about Lagodi basketball. People ask you about Lagodi basketball. Despite his success, Coach Butcher believes that he is his own biggest critic. Well, I think uh, basketball coaches uh, have a lot of pressure. But I think a lot of the pressure is generated by the, uh, by the competitiveness of the coach himself. Uh, certainly, um, the community wants to win, and the, the fans uh, uh, are not happy when you, when you do not uh, uh, win at least uh, a, a number of games throughout the season, uh, certainly uh, more than 50% of your game. But uh, any pressure that I have ever felt, it was the internal pressure that I put upon myself because of being such a competitor. He's still intense on the sidelines, and I don't know how he still gets uh, up for ball games. I coached the Loja for 15 years, and, and to me, it's, it's hard to, to, to maintain that level of intensity. And they're jamming you on the rebound, guys. Hacking and grabbing, because the referees are letting you get by with it. So you've got to protect the ball. A reason for Coach Butcher's success may be that he understands that there is more going on in basketball than winning and losing. And this is perhaps one of the most important lessons that he teaches. And I believe that Young men uh, obtain, uh, men and women now, obtain things uh, from the educational aspect in basketball that they do not receive maybe in any other part of our educational system. Things such as uh, discipline, uh, the ability to work with a group, good work ethics, the realization that if you get knocked down and lose a game, for example, and things don't go right, you pick yourself up the next day and, and you go back to work. It would seem that this concept of Hoosier hysteria, 
runs deeper than just a passion for the game of basketball. I think sometimes people in Ligoti almost refer to our basketball program in a, in a timeline, uh, in a sense like everybody knows where they were when, uh, say, President Kennedy was assassinated. Well, people, you'll hear comment, I remember the night where I was sitting when, uh, when G hit that shot, or do you remember when uh, Canada split the defense yeah, and, and did this? And, and, you know, that'll recall a certain time, or like I said, I can probably, you can walk in the gym and remember where you were sitting, what seat you were sitting in when, when, when something happens. Well, Hoosier Hysteria, I think, uh, you know, has developed uh, throughout the ages here in, in, in Indiana. And certainly the small schools have been very much a part of that tradition and the development of that concept. Basketball, for many years in the small towns, that was the only sport that, that the school supported. And for that, that matter, the ISHA really sponsored. I can remember many years ago, uh, people would not ask, uh, are you going to the game tonight? They would say, what time are you gonna, going to the game? And uh, we used to pack this old gymnasium and people standing along the walls and, and uh, pounding the feet on the wooden uh, uh, bleachers. And, you know, that created a lot of uh, excitement. And, and people like to be around uh, where things are happening. And it was in the basketball gymnasiums in the small towns during the winter months that things were happening. In the 1970s, Ligoti seemed to be the little lions that could. They made two strong runs in the tournament, landing them in the Final Four and the championship game. Going to the state finals in 1970 was uh, you know, just uh, uh, extremely, um, extremely great thing for the community. Uh, everyone was behind us 100%. Uh, so we probably took as many people out up to the uh, Hinkle Field House at that time, as uh, at least on a percentage basis, uh, as, uh, as uh, any other uh, school up there. We had great support from everybody in the community. I think the sign says the last one out of town, turn out the lights. In 1975, uh, the repeat of our state final trip uh, was equally as thrilling. So uh, it, it's been a great thing for the community. And I think uh, the old timers look back to those times as the uh, golden age of, of Ligoti basketball, although we've really had many golden ages. When it comes to coaching, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. The most important thing is to make sure the players understand and execute their responsibilities. Well, my coaching style, uh, you know, I, I'm probably noted more uh, from the standpoint of, of using the uh, delay game but and then I think the reason for that is because we were successful in 1970 going to the state finals uh, and by using the delay game quite a bit uh, and also in 1975. Uh, Ligoti's not been blessed with a lot of you know great athletes we have had a few through the years that, that have kind of been outstanding athletes but more of his success, I think, has been in developing people as role players. Uh, you know, someone may just be a, uh, designed to be a rebounder, uh, someone uh, to set screens, a defensive specialist. And I think this is a lot of his success, is being able to, to put people in the right position. Well, I, I really think that we aren't a whole lot different than, than a lot of other teams. We went to uh, play a South Knox team a few years ago, and I think they passed the ball uh, I think we had 31 times before they shot the ball. Whether retired or coaching, Jack Butcher will always be a mainstay in the game of basketball. Let's see, after Mr. Butcher, Coach Butcher retires. Is that ever gonna happen? I don't know, I, sometimes I think maybe my, uh, my grandsons will be playing for Mr. Butcher, but I don't know. I just let him decide. As long as he wants to do it, well, it gets him out of the house for a little bit. During the <laughs> if you say you're from Ligoti, Indiana, they'll say, do you know Jack Butcher? Well, Dad said something to me several years ago that what we did, we did it with class, and we did it the right way. How about that one as a closer? This portion of Across Indiana is brought to you by the town of French Lick, Indiana.